Hey, I'm David. I'm the writer, the director, and the producer for the Pineapple Films web series, The Door. I'm here to tell you um, what has happened in the past five episodes. At the beginning of episode six, we see that Adam, Aaron, and Rebecca are all down by the creek side um, fixing Adam's wound uh, when all of a sudden a walkie-talkie goes off. Uh, and it says, who's there? Who's there? So they don't know who it is. So they go and Adam goes and tries to answer it. Rebecca knocks it out of his hand and says, no, don't answer that. Uh, it's the man. And so then they, they dismiss it and they walk on, uh, on the way in the woods. They hear a strange noise and they think that it's the man. So they start running. They run up this big rocky hill steep thing. And uh, then they ha hide beneath the rocks in a very Lord of the Rings-esque moment. Uh, and then you see a person's legs run by, and they sit there, Aaron has another flashback. When he comes to, they talk about his flashback, um, and he remembers something about not trusting her. Um, but he doesn't know who that means, if it refers to Rebecca or someone else. Uh, all of a sudden, a new character comes on the scene, holds them at gunpoint. She takes them into the woods um, to go see the man. And they find out that her name is Elvia. She is the protector of the source of time. And they have a lot of fun with that and good sci-fi references and everything like that. They also find out that she is the one who shot Adam. So now Aaron is wondering if it's he's not supposed to trust Rebecca or Elvia or even somebody else. He doesn't really know at this point. So they keep walking into the woods to go find the man. Once they finally get to a clearing, Elvia tells him to stop and wait there. Aaron has another flashback. He wakes up the next morning and Rebecca and Elvia are gone. Adam is sitting next to a tree, but he can't really walk too much. He's lost a lot of blood. He's feeling rather faint. Aaron tries to help Adam up and he does faint. So Aaron needs help. He yells for Rebecca, but no, no help comes. He has another flashback. When he comes to, Rebecca is over Adam and asks for Aaron's help to help him up. She doesn't know what he needs or how he needs to get better, but all of a sudden Elvia comes back on the scene and tells him that she knows what he needs. She has this magical plant thing that can heal him, or so she says. And then Adam gets a little frustrated because he's like, you know, what is going on? Who are you really? So she sits down and tells him her story about the man who hired her to protect the source of time. After she finishes telling her story, they go back into the woods because she's already met with the man. And they go back into the woods find the plant to heal Adam. At the slow pace, Aaron is wondering why he can't just run ahead and get the plant while Adam sits down and rests. But Elvia says that he doesn't know what he's looking for and she doesn't want them to split up. Aaron finally gets fed up, decks Elvia, snags the gun, and leads the team on to go find the plant. Uh, he takes control in that moment, um, but still has a flashback and you know, kind of faints a little bit when he comes to. Um, Elvia says, you know what, we're close enough, I'll go grab it. She runs, grabs the plant, comes back, and it seems to do more harm than good to Adam, who screams in pain after she puts it on him. She tells Aaron that he needs to go find the man and take his bottle with him, because the man has something that could help Adam. Aaron runs to go get the man, and Elvia and Rebecca have a little chat about Elvia's past. And it takes a while for Aaron to get back, but once he finally gets back, it's too late. Adam has passed on, he had some severe bone damage from where Elvia shot him, and Rebecca and Aaron are distraught. And clutched in Adam's hand is a note that says don't trust her, throwing Aaron into a more confused state as he still doesn't know who not to trust. Is it Rebecca or is it Elvia who shot and killed Adam eventually? Now in the flashbacks they're still ever increasing backwards in time. You see Aaron hand a cell phone off to a guy who's on the phone a lot um, and tells Aaron not to trust her and that he'd have to go back. The next one, you see a little bit before the other one, you see that he actually goes and retrieves the cell phone that he eventually hands to the one guy. He also talks on the phone to some mysterious person on the other line, questioning what, what is really going on here, what's with the note and the phone. And then the next flashback, we see Aaron talking, walking down the street with his buddy Jordan and talking with some mysterious person on the phone, maybe the same person, maybe not, um, about what he's supposed to do. And then in the next flashback, we jump just a little bit further back and we see Aaron start the conversation with the person on the phone. But before that happened, Aaron was in the apartment with Jordan. He has a whole collection of things that he gave Jordan before the accident. And we don't know what the accident is or what that refers to, but he gave those to Jordan before the accident. So we're left wondering, what is the accident? What got Aaron to this point? And with the flashbacks ever increasing backwards, we're wondering where does it start? So those are the questions that we get coming into episode 11, which should be released very, very soon. Um, I have the score, everything ready. It's actually uploaded on YouTube. I'm just waiting for a good time to, to post it. So I'll keep you posted. It's all ready, it's ready to go. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. We have only four episodes left. I know it's a sad day, it really is. 
but there are only four episodes left until the door is completely done. Everything is culminating into a very climactic end, uh, and it will blow your mind. And it is something that you will not see coming, I can promise you that. You may have guessed some of the few little hints and stuff that, that come up uh, that lead up to this point, but you definitely won't see it coming. I promise that it will be totally worth the wait. Um, so you definitely do not want to miss an episode from here on out because everything is important. Every little detail is important. And I hope that once you get done with this series, that you'll realize that everything from episode one has been important so you can go back and rewatch everything. We're also working on the DVD release. It'll include all the episodes plus the soundtrack, bonus features. I won't post those on YouTube, so you'll definitely want the DVD for those. There'll be a blooper reel, everything like that. It'll be awesome. And even a special surprise that I'm gonna throw in myself. So you definitely wanna buy that when it comes out. Um, I'm also gonna start taking some door episodes down when that comes out because the DVD has much better quality episodes. I went back and I re-edited all of episodes one through 10. Um, so you'll definitely wanna get the DVD release. It'll have all the re-edited episodes in it. So that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys watch the rest of the door um, and enjoy it. Leave comments, like them, uh, and just tell us what you think. Let us know because we, we do things to please you guys. So just let us know what you guys want to see more of, what you guys want to see us do more, um, and we'll try to do that. So we'll see you next time.